Welcome back to another video guys. I did not shoot an intro to this, but uh it's me and Miles. And we're on the uh, Arch Team Pass, as you guys can tell. We had a little bit of early snow. We were gonna sorry it's really windy, so I don't know how the audio is gonna turn out. <clears throat> but we're gonna try and get to the top not expecting this much snow but this is the uh the steepest section on argentine i don't know it's gonna pick up my audio but that's the uh, steepest section on argentine and instead of being snow uh that is all ice so we're gonna stop here yeah we're gonna stop right here and just chill out a little bit and then we're gonna head back down it is freezing up here I think wind chill's got to be in the negatives. My dash said 29 degrees. Yeah, without wind chill coming up the uh, off the top of that mountain. Oh yeah, it's cold. Yeah, it's got to be in a oh wind chill like negative five, negative ten. I'm gonna put a beanie Yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> so <clears throat> we did. Uh, we decided to run this trail last minute because I did some work on the uh, mall crawler. Um, ended up doing a lot of trimming so I trim a lot more there the uh, windshield washer fluid um, that has been relocated <laughs> trying to hide right here and get out of the wind morning y'all so this is the next day um so uh to explain to you guys what i've done so far so like i said the uh yesterday about the air compressor 
Um, so the third gens is already so it's bolted down uh, with three bolts. The holes are already there, so I did not have to drill or tap it or anything. Um, the this ABS box relay, a relay box, normally sits right here. Uh, I unbolted that, and it's just right here temporarily. I forgot to disconnect the ground in here, so I don't have enough room to move it somewhere else. But the uh, the air fitting is leaking on this. Well, the press the on and off switch down here is leaking, so I'm gonna have to take that back off to fix that. Uh, issue I'm having is that is it, this is a eighth inch uh, and then I had to drill and tap the T for it to fit so I'm ordering a quarter inch um, pressure sensor for that and that way I don't have to tap it anymore I can just screw it in um, but it is leaking because it's, it's the T is copper and then when I tapped it, it it's not the copper is pretty soft, so it doesn't seal correctly. Um, so yeah, the pressure switch is leaking air. So when I fix that, I'll unbolt the whole compressor back off and uh, take the ground off, so I can move the whole ABS box somewhere else. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably gonna go right here with this air hose. All right, so right here. But anyways. So like I said, it's, it's not a drawer or tap or anything. I use the existing Toyota um, uh, holes. And I don't know if it's going to show. So one bolt there, one up here, and then one right here. Easy way to do this is to find the, uh, I can't, I don't remember or I don't know what the thread pitch are. If I were to guess, or probably like a, um, a 10 millimeter by probably 1.25 threads but one of them is big I'm thinking that one's probably a 10 by 1.25 don't hold me on that I'm not 100% but um, if you work on these if you have any leftover nuts and bolts they're gonna work you know like uh, I reuse a lot of my OEM hardware when I do upgrades and stuff let's say take off uh, I don't know the running bores or the factory skip plate stuff like that I hold on to those because they you can always reuse them but easiest way is to put the the bolts in uh, put a little bit of grease on the head press your plate against it and then that will leave the mark where you need to drill the uh, this mounting plate I guess or this bottom piece for the air compressor um, it'll let you know where you need to drill it to put the bolts in so it's pretty simple pretty easy and then as far as the compressor goes to flip it like how I did you do down there where the head is at you do need to ground ground down grind down the bracket a little bit to clear the head and then you can just you know take these uh, I can't remember what these are I want probably like six millimeter allens to take these off move the bracket you flip it and then you bolt it back on so it's pretty simple it's not you know not nothing crazy so as of right now, this is just temporarily uh, done. So with a T, I got the uh, quarter inch um, hose. This is I'm gonna change this. It's either I'm gonna use this hose and cut it shorter, or I'm gonna run a new hose because I do have um, a row like 50 feet or Flexzilla quarter inch hose. I may use that because I'm planning to cut that anyway. But we'll see anyway so so i'm gonna either cut this one shorter i'm gonna route it to somewhere up here i'm not sure yet and then get the the straight through coupler i can't remember exactly what they're called but you drill a hole and then the coupler will pinch itself onto uh, whatever you know metal so i have this hard mounted so i can just pop my gauge onto it to air up my tires but yeah that's the plan um so for the front to clear 35s i did need to remove the uh the, the splash shield and then hammer this more flat and then this piece back here is pretty soft you can just tap it and it starts to form to whatever you want um i do still need to undercoat it so it doesn't rust <coughs> so and for the front the biggest uh 
thing you're gonna run into with bigger tires on third gen is that the washer fluid sits right here. I I had to remove all that. So the factory one is out. And what I'm using right now is the um, Advanced Auto Parts Coolant Reservoir. And this right here next to the uh, brake booster. So it's not perfect, it's still leak. I do need to take this back off and uh, fix that. So you have it fitting here and the fitting underneath. Um, the underneath one is leaking. So as you can tell, I'm out. It's just like a slow drip. But this box, will you buy this for an advance? I think it was like 13, 13 or $20, I can't remember. Um, it comes with a bracket. And then what I did was I just heated there's a there's the mounting point here and a mounting point back there. Um, they're when you buy them they're straight up. So I just put it in a vise. I heat this part right here up and then I just bent it and it's mounted here. I can fat it. So yeah, so this mount is bolted down here. It bolted it down right there. Um, these uh they're they're factory also they're, the hose already there and the threads already there so same scenario just use the uh, old bolts to mount it in place <laughs> so oh i guess i go to the back and for the back the mud guard sits well right here or the mud flap i'm sorry um, I was rubbing really bad when I'm fully flat so I took that off and I cut it I trimmed it back this this piece on the third gen at least on the uh, 0102 or this is all metal so cut off wheel cut it back about I think it was like three inch they had mounting holes here so I just you know I just backed it off on the I guess the inside right where the holes are so I just chopped it off right there and then this the factory has a bracket back here for the um to hold this bumper in place so since I cut it off the holes are not there anymore so I just took a uni bit drill all the way through into the bracket and then I just bolt it together so the that piece of the uh, bumper isn't moving Evie. And neighbors playing on their go kart. Yeah. I think that's what I've done so far. I have a video out, video out on the uh, lift kit. I'm running the Dobson front and rear. It's like a two to two and a half inch lift. I can't remember. I think it's two inch if you're loaded. And then if you're not loaded, loading means you have weight. If you're not loaded, then there's about two and a half. Um, the plan for this, I'm gonna try and stay pretty light on this forerunner. So I'm not gonna, yeah, metal bumper and stuff like that is not in the in the plan. That's right now, most likely gonna be like low profile stuff and lightweight stuff. The back, can't decide yet if I'm gonna do like a um, just buy one or or I'm gonna build one but it's probably gonna be a two bumper you know it's not gonna be a plated so it's gonna be pretty light and um, also I need to get one or make one that can hold a uh, spare tire so but for the front it goes it's gonna be just like a uh, mall runner I'm gonna have a hidden winch in here so I'll keep the factory bumper, but behind it will be a uh, winch. Probably gonna run the same winch that I have on Mall Runner, which is a fiery uh, red 13,000 pound winch. But yeah, that's it. But yeah, just slowly and you know getting it worthy, I guess. Because how it's sitting now, I mean, it still does pretty good, but. <laughs> Um, it's not equipped yet to do harder trails, so that'll be in a new feature. I still need to do rock sliders and, and uh, thicker skip plates.